Hello, this is Blaster Toad here. So, um, I was having a hard time. I'm working on a project, and it was just frying my brain a little bit because I'm trying to make a procedural planet, and I had to step away from it. So, in the last two days, and yes, this is well, two nights, so maybe like six, six hours work or so. The last two nights, I have um done something else because I needed to step away from making planets. Why I decided to do something as ridiculous as what I have going on here is um is beyond me, but let me show you what I've done. As I think this here will um will end up being kind of the core of another project. So you see I've got a block here. The fun thing with this block is that this block is this. It is being made as a procedural mesh in a grouping of arrays that loop through to make a mesh. Um, if I change what block I want to spawn, so we had a box, if I change that to index 1, well, I now have a ramp. Oh, my... Oh, wait, no, my ramp is in the right direction. I just have my pawn in the wrong direction. If I change this to... Not a 2, but a 3. Ha! Huh, subvert your expectations. I have... A corner piece. Look at that. And you can see that the... Um, when I hover over it for each block type whoops that's not what I want, I want that one for each block type we'll go back to the cube uh, no, cube is zero it will highlight the corners in yellow for that particular mesh which it is creating through a loop and if we click on the body it's gonna say body yay look how clever that is, it knows I'm clicking the body if I click over here, it's going to know I'm clicking the handle. And if I click and drag a handle, and I'm going to move it way up over here. Oh, look at that. Oh, come on, I need a handle. Do, 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 do. So, why did I decide to do this? And rack my brain against vector math and repeating nested arrays inside arrays inside arrays that make this work um that's a good question i'm still trying to figure that out myself let's try it test it with a different block type let's do a number two block which i believe is my corner piece, yes. So eventually I want this to only move upon a certain axis, not just free move in space like this. And I want it to move in steps instead of freely moving, so it would work in like 10 unit steps or something like that. But um, yeah, I think I've got the beginning of something that could be quite fantastic. Let's get that top point centered a little more. Nope, centered a little bit more. Do, 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 do. There we go. And if we bring her back. And of course I'll need to be able to spawn more blocks and then save them out as a collection of blocks. But um, I think this could be the beginnings of a nice little building game. So yeah, just wanted to show off what I've been working on for like my last two free nights of work. So again, this is about six hours to get um, an actor that references a table, which each table describes multiple faces of a procedural mesh to build a mesh 
by looping through the vertices and triangle groupings from that table and then spawning smaller smaller procedural meshes of cubes at the corners to act as handles because I couldn't just use a helper actor. I had to say, hey, let's do more procedural meshes because that's going to be fun. Anywho, it is now like 12 a.m. here. So I am now officially in the next morning. I am going to call it a night because I am going a little crazy and bug-eyed dealing with procedural meshes. Yeah, I don't need to know that length anymore. Dealing with procedural meshes and dynamically creating them. But yeah, interesting stuff. Interesting stuffs. Um, I will not, uh, at least in the near future, unless they're, okay. So I'm going to say I'm not going to make a tutorial on st stuff like this right away. That being said, if a few people request it, I will actually go through and make the tutorial, but really I want to play with it myself first. So that's why I'm saying I don't want to make a tutorial right away. Because like, I want to play with this thing because... It's an interesting thing. And I'm just going to reset up my level here so that when it spawns, say, a number one, we are looking at it down the... Yeah, so you can actually see it's looking forward on the x-axis. Yeah. But yeah, that's that. That's that. Um... Just wanted to give you all an update of what I'm working on. Actually, let's let's open the other project really, really quick. So I can show you the other thing I was working on. So the other thing I'm working on is also stupid crazy because I can't do simple things. <sighs> Actually, that's the one I want. I'm loading the wrong project. Come on. Load faster. Do it. Do it faster. Load now so I can show off my stuff. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Okay, so. If we pop this out here. Ooh, look. Movie stuff. Oh, that's a funny shaped thing, but it's kind of planet-esque. Well, the nice thing is, if I hit my little test button here, ooh, it got bigger. It got really bigger, but it now looks completely different. And again, 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 and more. And yeah, this is a material that we're driving properties in to make a procedural planet. The problem is, and this is where I made myself very angry, because I'm very happy with this, and I love how it's turned out. Oh, you'll see sometimes it spawns water. Blah, blah, blah. But anywho, yeah, see right there, it spawns water that's kind of moving and you can walk through. I need to have it not spawn water on the lava planets. Ooh, or that much. But I'll work on that later. But yeah, this is a... All the deformations are as a texture. But because of that, there's no collisions on them. So if a character is walking along the surface, it just walks through the mountains because it's only colliding against the initial collision. Oh, in this case, it's not even going to, going to go against the initial collision, because when the collision is supposed to be a sphere, it's going to jump over these things. That, that would also explain why it's so freaking messed up. So if anybody knows how to trace against a material or how to do an output from a material 
because my material isn't that complicated, but I need to get these noise values. Like, if I could just get this value out, then I could test against it and get my height. But because I haven't been able to do that, I've also been working on probably a bunch of... Oh, no, I did clean it up. I've been working on this. So Skitty's only over here right now. And what this is, is each one of these... Okay, let, let's, let's view this part by part. So I'm going to pull that out here. And zoom out a bit and move it right over there. And do, 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 do. I'm going to, yeah. Come on. Uh, oh. Because I need to get rid of that and I need to put this at zero, zero, zero. And then we are going to zoom into it. Come on. And then I'm going to make it bigger. Okay. See, look, we've got a sphere. Now this here is also a procedural mesh. So what I'm doing, if I break off here, so this is gonna blow you all away. I am, for my procedural mesh, come on. Oh, it's going to take a while to do now. Do, 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 do. Waiting, waiting, waiting. It's doing a thing. Oh, I can close the other one. Man, this one's really locked up. What did I set it? I didn't even set it to that much. Okay. I broke it in something. Or. Or it's now compiling shaders as well. That, that's a possibility. Or somebody's watching movies on my computer while I'm working on stuff. No, it is CUE4 that is being a pain. And locking everything out. Oh, hey, look, now we can move again. Okay, so if I do this and I save. Yeah. So, and then I'm going to make this, like, way less. So I'm going to make that, like, five segments. And I'm going to make that 200 unit diameter. And I'm going to update. No, really? Okay, apparently it doesn't want me to show you in chunks. But these here make the sides of a cube. Yeah, they make a cube. And then this here takes all the vertices from that cube. Or are these actually making mesh sections? No, they aren't. That's why. Okay. So, that's why it's not doing anything. I need to bypass that part. So now if we go back, we should see that that makes a cube. Woo! Look at my pretty cube. And it is made up of five segments per side. I'm going to make that cube bigger. Nope, apparently I'm going to make it smaller. Let's make it bigger. We're going to update. We're still five segments per side. I'm now going to make that ten segments per side and update. Look at that. So I've got a procedural mesh that I can scale and subdivide. Because that's not stupid math that drives your brain insane. I'm being sarcastic. It is. That's why I'm going crazy like this. But then, then you take your cube... And for every vertice in your cube, you normalize it. And then you get the diameter of your cube and push it 
O, or sorry, the radius of your cube, or your soon-to-be circle, and push out your normalized vectors along that radius. And you add that here. And then you get your look at direction to do something else. Set array element item. Oh, yeah, you, um, so you make your array to do things. Oh, wait, I don't want to, no. Make your array to do things. You set all those, and then for all your arrays, find your look at rotation. Like, set your look at rotation. No, that should be... We want to set an array element, yes. And then, oh yes, and then I want to set the array element. Okay, so this is setting my normals, which is my look at rotation, and this is setting my actual location. Huh. And then that actually smooths a cube into a circle, and this updates it. And then this here, this here makes it noisy. And by noisy, I mean bumps. So if we go back and we now spawn a sphere type thing. Okay. And let's make it noisy. And if I update again, eh, it's not too bad. But if I do like 50, look at that. We've got a bumpity bump planet. Now I just need to make that... <sighs> group into chunks instead of being all randity bumpity I don't want randomy bumpity I want chunkity bumpity so that it looks pretty as if it has all the different thingamajigs like this so it looks like it's got its continents and land masses and all the rest of it so I need to get them to cluster like this, but it won't cluster like that. Right now I can only make it noisy bumps, and I don't know how to make a cluster, and it's driving me insane. So instead I did other thing with procedural meshes that let me basically have a 3D model editor that I built in my other project. And yeah, it, it's lots and lots and lots of arrays. <laughs> yeah. Anywho, now it's like 12.20, and I'm actually going to go to bed immediately after uploading this, which is probably going to take like another five minutes. And, oh, I'm sleepy, and my brain hurts. Oh. Anywho, that's what I've been up to. Just a little bit crazy. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye!